All right, guys, here's a quick video on how I open up the clay. If you look back, I do have a video about how I centered this pound in a quarter ball. And then I have another video of how I opened it up. But now I'm gonna show you guys how I created the floor or open it up, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I'm gonna show it to you from the side because I want you to see the position of my hands. Um, I will work on a video from the top, but I think that the side is super important so you can see where my hands are. So I have this pound and a quarter ball centered. I've used my two thumbs to open up or maybe my two fingers. Again, refer back to that last video as to why I do that. And now I wanna create a cylinder. This is when you decide what your shape is gonna be. Everything is based on either a cylinder or a bowl. So you wanna decide, is your bottom going to be angled or is it going to be rounded? That's gonna be super important. If you decide to make a bowl and you have this angle, when you go to open up, it's gonna be a little thin over here. So you wanna make sure that you've given yourself enough clay. We're gonna aim for a cylinder. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, again, my left hand is always here. Again, this is for left righties. If you wanna go ahead and switch everything, I'm sure you used to it for your whole life, having to hear directions and switching them the other side. You guys are gonna have your right hand here and you're gonna put your left hand inside. These steps are the fastest steps. So centering, opening up a hole in your pot and creating the floor are with the wheel going as fast as possible because they take the most strength. So my left palm is back here again between six and seven and I want to go inside and I want to go down to where I made that hole and I want to pull straight towards my left hand so that I can create a straight wall and a perpendicular, I'm sorry, a straight floor and a perpendicular wall. So a couple of mistakes people will make is they'll have this hand sort of angled this way. And what that's gonna do when I open up, it's gonna create a really thin top and a really thick bottom. So we wanna have this palm of our hand really perpendicular to the floor of your bat or your wheel head. Your hands are super wet. The other error people make is they'll go inside. I'm gonna open up with two fingers. And if they open up with two fingers, they'll tend to have one finger longer than the other. So we end up with bloop, 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 bloop. We don't wanna do that. Another mistake that people make is they won't go all the way down to where that hole was. So you'll end up with a floor that looks like that. This little drop is where you put your hole, but you didn't put your fingers all the way down to the hole, so you didn't um, open up at that point. The other mistake people make is when they open up, they'll tend to pull towards themselves and drop down. That creates this shape on the inside. So now that I've shown you all the mistakes people make, I'm gonna show you the correct way. Left palm here, two fingers here, hand is over this hand. One more thing, make sure when you're pulling towards you, you pull towards your hand. I'm gonna put two fingers inside, wheel going fast, and I'm gonna go one, two, three, and pull. One, two, three, pull. And once I get out here, I'm gonna put my hand back in the ball, in the center of the clay, and come out. Okay, so we don't wanna scoop. We don't wanna leave our hand down in that corner too long. We wanna pull straight towards our palm, straight towards our palm, come out. When we pull towards our palm, this hand is not going to come out very far. It's almost like this is one tool, you're scooping the clay and you're doing this. You're not doing this, because if you do this, the clay is gonna get super thin and it's gonna ride up and you're gonna be all uneven. So we put our fingers inside, pulled towards our palm, and then our left palm with attached to our body came out just a little bit. We lean back just a little. What that's gonna do is that's gonna allow the inside of our cylinder, get the water out of the inside and compress it, to be that sort of square that we're aiming for with the right angles. And then it allows us some clay. Sometimes this may get a little thin, so it's gonna be super important for you to just compress that lip. You also don't want to open up your floor wider than your mound of clay that you began. If I was to pull this all the way out here, this wall would probably drop down and become the floor. And with the centripetal force, that will drop instantly. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to show you guys the inside of my pot. Okay, guys. So this is the inside of my cylinder. I'm going to try and get in there so you guys can see. Do you see how it's very much a right angle in there? and I'm prepared for that to be the inside of my cylinder for its entire life. Walls are evenly consistent. Nothing is too thin. My wall is flat. Some people get a little distracted by what's going on on the inside. 
all you have to do is with the sponge, hold it in one spot and just compress down. If you see spirals or it's, it's bouncing back and forth, chances are you didn't do that fast. It is just like a jackhammer. You just want to go zzz. You want to do it before your, wheel, your fingers get dry. That's really the most important part of it. And now, once we start to pull our walls, they should be evenly consistent because we've centered, we've put our hole in the middle, and we've opened up our floor consistently. Hope that helped. Good luck.